All right. So, uh, howdy. What we're going to do today is we're going to try to do a, uh, uh, like an old fashioned moonshine jug or something. It's been at least a decade since I've done that, if that tells you how old I am. But I'm um, going to give it a shot. I have five pounds of clay. I have a wheel and I have it spinning. You're going to take this five pounds, throw it in the middle, center it up. I'm going to pull the clay up. After I have the clay pulled up, I'm going to push it down. When I get near the center, I slowly let go. Wet my hands down, I'm going to squeeze it in again. Lift it on up. And pull it on down. And squeeze it on in again. Now, for this particular shape, I don't want to go too wide. I just drank a cup of coffee really fast. So. I want to take this, I'm going to hold this steady here. I'm going to push this on down. I don't want to get too wide. I don't want to be too narrow. I want to be just right. Right in the middle. Send that up. I do not want this to be off-centered. I can be slightly coned if I would like, but nothing too much. Probably call that good right there. I'm going to take my sponge, and now I want to open it up. When I open this, I don't want it to get any wider. I'm going to go down in the middle. I don't cross over the middle. I stay on my side of the middle. Go all the way down. I go pretty low to the bottom. Flip it open. So I'm pretty low. I didn't leave a lot of clay down there because I'm not doing a lot of trimming on the bottom. Uh, I might do some, but for the most part, it's going to be pretty flat surface to bottom because that's the traditional way that they were years ago. I'm going to hold this hand here, and now I'm going to pull over and open this up. Keep my left hand still, sliding my right hand towards it. Pull that steady and slowly come it up. My hands are a little bit dry, so I want to be careful they don't stick. I slowly let go. What I mean by stick is, as you can see, that that's kind of got a dry surface to it. Sometimes, because where I'm at, when I hold on, if it's too frictiony, it'll start shaking, and that can help throw the whole piece off. So I have to be careful of that. I want to go in now to the bottom of this and I want to compress. What compressing means is I simply am bringing my hands back and forth, center to the side, center to the side, center to the side, and that's to prevent S cracks. S cracks are when you don't have the floor uh, compressed enough, it'll be loose. So therefore, when this side shrinks, it'll stretch that clay out and create an S crack in the very bottom. Now I'm going to try to pull up the walls. Even though I'm going to be making a jug, to start off, I want to just throw a cylinder. So I'm just going to pull up to begin with. Pull up and I'm going to aim in towards the center. Oh, there's an air bubble which is dumb ding a bad. I just, why are you struggling with most of the building? I'm not sure what dumb ding a bad <laughs> means, but I darn well said it. So there you go. Put it down, I'm going to make another indent here. And I'm going to pull this on up. Keep that compressed. I'm gonna make that indent underneath. It's getting a little wide right here at the top, so I'm going to narrow that in a little bit. Now it's a little narrow in there. I want to make sure my hand doesn't catch. Sometimes I want to wet up in here just to make sure nothing catches. It's a little narrow up here, a little thin. That's okay, not freaking out yet. 
down the bottom I think it's still a little too thick so I want to get rid of a little bit down here but I have to be careful because I'm getting to the point now where if I'm too silly about it it'll collapse so this is the last time I'm pulling I try not to ever pull more than five times and this is probably my fourth pull I'm not sure maybe more maybe less but so I'm gonna get this into the final shape for the most part so this is gonna come out a little bit <laughs> and then it's going to end up coming back in, right around here. I'm going to call that pretty good. So that'll be it. Right here, it's a little wobbly, but I'm not going to worry about that yet. I'll get to that in a little bit. So I want to make sure I compress. So I'm going to switch over to this dealy wheelie, which is my rib. I'm going to start off down here in the bottom. And what I want to do now is I just want to clean up these walls. I have my uh, left hand inside. As you can see when I pull this out, my whole hand was up against, but the sponge was there to keep a little bit of moisture. Not much, just a little bit to make sure it wasn't too dry. And I want to do that again, I'm going to slightly bring it out again. Now when I come up, I want to clean up this moisture that's out here also. I think I'll probably do one more cleanup and then I'm going to start the collar on the top. Let me compress this. So I'm really trying to work the bottom. I'm going back and forth right now. If you can tell by my arm is going up and down, my other hand is holding still. And this is where I'm really trying to work like a bulbous shape, like right here where my outside hand is, this is what I'm trying to turn into like a belly. And then I'm trying to create a belly on this. So this is what I was saying where the belly is. I don't want anything wider than this spot right here. That's about as wide as I'm going to get it. So now I'm going to try to bring it in. Now when I try to bring it in, I first want to make sure I get rid of a lot of water if there is any on the bottom. I'm going to get rid of that first. Then I'm going to go here and I'm going to wet this down a little bit. Now this is where it's tricky. I'm going to try to collar this in. So the easiest way for me to collar this in, I want to keep this finger on the top so as it doesn't lose its shape and I'm trying to pin that in there. And I slowly let go. So now I want to try to fix this shape right here. I'm not worried about this, just this shape right here. So remember I had that belly shape in there. I'm trying to keep that. If I'm like, oh no, this is, I need to push out there. And I'm like, this is too small. That's okay. I just need to make sure my hand is wet. And as long as it's wet, it'll be okay. I can put my hand in and I can fix anything in here I think I need to with my hand. And then let's take it right back out again. So this is where I want to narrow. Now, if you notice, it's still relatively thick right here, whereas most of the walls should be, if I did it correctly, about like this. It's probably a little bit thicker down here because the clay was a little wet and so I wasn't able to quite make it as thin as I'd like. But regardless, right here, this clay is thicker. So this is where I can pull and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna now pull starting right here. Tell her to sit on the side. I'm going to wet this down. I'm going to collar that in. After I collar, I need to compress. If you don't compress, it'll take away its strength. Let me go in here. Oh, that's a little bit, a little bit dry. I'm going to wet that down just slightly. I don't want to put a lot of water down the bottom. Why aren't you? 
Hey guys, yep, 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 yep. And then, I'm gonna narrow this up a little bit. We go in here, and I wanna squeeze in here, and look, I'm pulling, 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 right? So now it's pretty good. So now, I'm gonna narrow this in. I want to compress. I want to get this. Go back to here where I was earlier. Remember, I was working on that. that in. And bring it in. 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 And compress. And clean it up, clean it up, clean it up, clean it up, clean it up. Now I really want to try my best to pay attention to this shape right here. Like how elegant or how quick or what I want. This is called the shoulder. So it's the foot, the belly, the shoulder, and the neck. And so I want to pay attention to what this neck is doing now. I want it to be a little bit taller. I'm going to wet it down. Wet this down. It's easy to twist this at this point, so I want to be careful not to. Like I said, I really want to pay attention to this neck. I don't want this neck to flare. But I don't want it to happen too quick. I want this to be a really elegant form. And by elegant, I mean pretty. That's what I think. It's so elegant, so pretty. Right? That's what I'm trying to do here. I don't know if I'm successful. I can use either side of my rib. But I think that's pretty good. So I'll probably clean up out here. Clean up this portion in here. Up in there. Have a look. That looks a little, a little sharp right here. So I can push in on that a tad bit if I wanted. Not very heavy, just a little bit. Probably call that pretty good. I want to trim the very, very top, just the hair. Just a little, 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 little bit to make sure it's even. Probably going to compress that just in case you were to take a drink out of the very tip of it. I'm going to make this into a narrow little spot. But then eventually I'll put a handle right there. They're coming off from that. I'm going to slice it off. And uh, that right there is it. Uh, 